take your pen and paper. I want to give you very straightforward calculated formulas for making chicken feed. If you want to make a 70 kg bag of layers mash, you simply need 34 kg of whole maize. If you don't have whole maize, then you need 34 kg of wheat, okay? And if you can get cassava that is dried very well, crushed very well, and it's cheaper for you, then you need 34 kg of cassava, okay? You also need 12 kilograms of roasted or cooked soya, which is a byproduct, okay? That one has got no substitute. I talked of using simsim cake as a substitute, but I won't advise you to use it now because you need to be so much knowledgeable on how you can use it as a substitute, okay? You need eight kgs of omena or fish meal. You can either use sardines or you can use prawns or you can use wastes of fish from a filleting company, whatever, as long as it's fish meal. Don't exceed 8 kgs for layers mash. If you exceed 8 kgs of layers mash, you're just lifting that smell of the fish meal and you're putting it in your eggs. And also you're reducing the life shell of your eggs. So assume there's a surge in the market, you, you, you're going to get a root shock. Then you need 10 kgs of maize bran. I always advise, instead of using maize bran, use wheat bran. Palatability of wheat bran is very high than maize bran, okay? But the most important function for bran is just to make the feed palatable and also it's very important for digestion. It prevents constipation and also diarrhea. And for chicks, okay, we're talking about less much, let me avoid chicks, okay? Then very important, you need 6 kgs of lime, okay? This should translate to 3% of the feed of the, this should translate to 3% lime of the feed you're making, okay? It shouldn't be below 3 kgs, maximum 6 kgs, because it's very important in the position of the shell, like I just mentioned in the introductory statement. Then now, the other thing maybe that you need is the, um, we call them the uh, premixes or amino acids. We have a very long list of amino acids, but for layers mash, there are only three that are important or the, the only three that you must have. One is lysine. You need 70 grams of lysine. Do not exceed, don't go below. I know there's some formulas that will give you 35 or 50. In school we are taught to use 50, but from experience, we always use 70 grams per bag of 70 kgs. Okay, that is 1%. Then you also need methionine. This one is, these are, these are something that you can't miss. You can miss the other in micro ingredients, but lysine and methionine, also 70 grams, 1% per feed. Don't miss that one. Then very important, you need layers premix. This is what stabilizes the laying and also maintains the bud on the laying curve, okay? We have got hormones called resins. Resins are responsible for the laying cycle of the, of the layer. That's why you see a bird will lay an egg in 24 hours and a bird will stop laying or get menopause after 72 weeks of laying. Which hormone is responsible for controlling of that is the resin. Now we introduce layers premix just to control secretion and also maintain the resins at the required level so that you can maintain a peak production when need be or the correct percentage production required by that particular age of the bud. Then lastly, the most important premix that you'll need is toxin binder. Toxin binder is very important because it's not very easy to monitor all these raw materials or all these ingredients that you're using to formulate your feeds, the sources. You can get that there's some element of aflatoxin in your maize or your wheat or your cassava, okay? And that becomes so harmful to your bud. So the importance of toxin binder is it helps curb the effect of such externalities or such <laughs> or such it helps curb the effect of such toxins 
that could help or could assist in reduction of your birth production or even could lead to total mortalities. Ignore the other many, many, many micro-ingredients that people give you. We always use that and we always see results. You use that. You call me and tell me the results. We finished layers mash. Okay? Growers mash. 27 kgs of maize. If you don't have maize, 27 kgs of wheat. 23 kgs of wheat bran. If you don't have wheat bran, 23 kgs of maize bran. 3.4 kgs of soya. It has to be cooked or roasted. If you don't, that one has got no substitute. And then the other thing that you need that is very important, you will need 11 kgs of sunflower. If you don't have sunflower, substitute it with cotton cake. And remember, it has to be decorticated. 700 grams of bone meal. Very easy, okay? And 3 kgs of limestone. Those are the major ingredients. Then for the macro ingredients, micro ingredients, I told you I'll only give you the ones that are important. They are the rest you can ignore. Don't miss to have toxin binder. 50 grams of toxin binder, okay? Very important, don't miss to have salt. 14 grams or 15 grams of salt, okay? The other thing that is very important that you'll need is 50 grams of zinc. Zinc is very important for growers. And also you need 50 grams of lysine. Don't miss those to have your grow feed complete. Chick mash, 70 kgs bag of chick mash. Very important, 31.5 kgs of maize. If you don't have maize, use 31.5 kgs of wheat. Very important, 9.1 kgs of bran. If you don't have bran, wheat bran, you can use maize bran. Okay? And then you need at least 7.2 or 7.0 kgs of wheat pollard. All right, that one has got no substitute, which is very important for chicks. You need 16.8 kgs of soya bean. Okay, this is a plant protein, very important. Chicks need much protein for formation of the, of the feathers and also for development of tissue. Okay, the other important thing that I think you need for, fee, for chicks is 1.5 kgs to 1.8 kgs of fish meal. Fish meal has got no much impact on chicks because they're not producing, so you don't have the repulsive effect to the, to the product, which is the eggs. And very important, you need 1.5 kgs of limestone. Do not exceed that. Do not exceed that. Because they only need a substantial amount for formation of bones. And lastly, you need 30 grams of salt. Okay? Then now the other thing is now the micro ingredients and for chicks one micro ingredient that should never miss on your list is coccidiostat because coccidiosis is a very common disease in chicks so we have to control coccidiosis right from the feed because you can use fish that is processed but it has not been processed very well and is the major source of coccidiosis or coccidia never miss coccidiostat in your feed so use at least and at most 60 grams of coccidiostat. Then very important, you need chick premix. It stimulates growth, okay? And this should be at least 50 grams of chick premix. You need 50 grams of enzymes. You know, these birds have been feeding on yolk. So they're, now they're being fed on feed directly. They're feeding for themselves. And they need to be breakdown of feed. So that's why we introduce enzymes in formulating chick mash. Very important, you need at least 50 grams of enzymes. These are some of the micro ingredients that you should never miss in your feed. And I think the other two major micro ingredients you should not miss are simply toxin binder for chick mash, which is 50 grams, and again, you need at least methionine, 10 grams. Well, if you don't have methionine, it's not very much important but for toxin binder, for coccidiostat, for enzymes, those ones, and salt, you should never miss that. And if you can afford, also add 10 grams of lysine. I've taught you how to make chick mash, I've taught you how to make grower's mash, and I've taught you how to make layer's mash. But I also have to give you some few hints. 
if you opt to use fish meal make sure it is thoroughly cooked before it is used if you opt to use cotton cake make sure it is decorticated don't go and make your own feed using cotton cake then you say Afri chick taught you how to make feeds in a chicken dye simply because it did not follow our instructions make sure you use decorticated cotton cake okay make sure you don't exceed the required levels of oils or fats in layer feeds it will increase the position of fats and the higher the fat deposits you do not see an egg that's why when you're making chicken feed we use number two maize number two maize we have number one maize that is used for human consumption a bit expensive you use number two or number three maize that is used for animal feed a bit cheap that's why now your feed becomes cheaper that's why when you're using soybean you use soybean that is a byproduct from factories manufacturing oil or making roasting preparing porridge for children that's why that's what makes your feed cheaper in my next video I will show you how you can make even your feed become more cheaper and more efficient remember to subscribe and hit the like button and just maintain our family you'll always get educative videos see you in our next video